Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here for a few minutes today. Today we're going to make a very, very simple picture frame. I know what you're probably thinking because the idea of making a picture frame with those beautiful little perfect miter cuts that I can never get to match up. I know you're probably like stressing already and you're thinking, I can't do that. I don't have the tools to do it. I don't have the skill. I don't have the patience, yada, yada, yada. I know I say those same things too. So what do we do? We simplify the whole process and that's what we're gonna do here today. All you need, you need some wood. It's gonna be rustic wood for us. It could be any wood though. You need a router. I prefer a router. You don't have to have one. You could ditch the router and not use it. We're gonna use the router and you need some sort of pocket hole joinery system. We're gonna use the Craig system because that's what I like, but you can use whatever you want. If you've got those things, I promise you, you can make a very cool, very professional looking picture frame and that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. All right, so we've got some old reclaimed wood. I like the look of it here. I think that's gonna make a good looking frame, but you can use whatever wood you want I'm gonna cut this so that my mat fits inside here and hangs over a half inch in all directions. Now I'm gonna put two pocket hole screws in each end of these short pieces because they're gonna form a butt joint right here. We're not gonna do a miter joint, ha ha ha. So we're gonna do a butt joint right here and then we'll get into that in a minute. But the first thing to do is to do the pocket hole screws. Okay, so after getting our K5 set up here for the thickness of the board, which this is a half inch board, pop this in here, clamp it down, drill a couple of holes. There we go. We're gonna do this on the other end. There you go. We're halfway done. It's that easy. Now we're gonna do this to the other short one and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so I've got just a basic router. This is a little cheapy Ryobi router right here. I've got a rabbiting bit in here. And what this is gonna do, obviously, if you can't tell, as the board runs along here, it's gonna cut a, a squared off 90 degree groove in the edge of the board. And you'll see it doesn't go all the way through and it doesn't go all the way back. And this is a 3 8 inch bit. It's gonna go one half inch deep and it's gonna go 3 8 of an inch in to this bearing right here. That bearing is gonna ride along the inside edge of the board and make sure that it stays 3 8 of an inch in. So we're gonna run that guy all the way down these short pieces. And then we're gonna run them part of the way, not all the way out, but only part of the way on the long guys. And I'll show you how we're gonna figure that in a minute. But the first thing we wanna do is I don't have a router table or anything fancy. I'm gonna clamp this down on my work table. We're gonna route this edge along down through here. We'll do it on the other and then we'll move on. All right, we're about to router. Of course, we're wearing appropriate ear and eye protection. Do not skip this step. You only have one set of eyes. Don't be a dummy. Okay, so I've got my rabbit grooves cut in the short pieces. Now we're gonna cut it up here, but I don't want it to go all the way to the end because then obviously that'll look tacky. So we wanna stop and it's gonna be a blind rabbit groove. But I need to know how wide these pieces need to be. The mat that's going in here is exactly 21 and a half inches long. So that's how wide the gap needs to be here is 21 and a half inches. And we're gonna measure that from the shoulder of the rabbit to the other shoulder of the rabbit 
on this other one. There, I'm going to give myself maybe a sixteenth of an inch play, and that is where they'll go. Now, is it really critical that I get it equidistant from this end and this end? As long as it's close, because this is a rustic frame, obviously, if it's a finer frame, you want to be a little more precise. <laughs> as we're going along I want to check the squareness of our joint and it is looking good again this is a rustic frame it doesn't have to be perfect Wow this one is perfect Woo! but it doesn't have to be perfect but of course we want to check the squareness and we want to make sure because the mat that goes in there will be square if this is not square, you're going to have a wanky looking frame. One other quick thing, just, I mean, you would never know. The customer will never know. Well, they'll know if they see this. I cut too far with the router, and I cut into the area where the screw was going to be going in. Dadgummit. So anyway, we had to pick a longer screw. This is a one and a quarter inch screw instead of the typical screw. Anyway, it reached on into here and it grabbed this. Now everything is nice and sturdy again. With that, ba, 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 look at that. Look at that. And it took me like nothing, no time to make this. And it looks really cool. Let's look at it with the picture in it. All right, there is, this is the finished product right here. Look at that. It looks good, and I'm not being I'm not being conceited. It, it looks good though. It was very very simple too. I like it. All right, guys, that is it. I told you. Did I tell you this would be easy? It is so easy. We probably built this in like 30 minutes or less. I promise you, you can do it too. If you have any questions about this though, give me a shout. Hook up with us at Apple Valley Farm ga.com hook us up on social media if you're watching here on youtube please like comment and subscribe please tell everybody about this come back and see us again and i hope you learned something today thank you have a great day and go make something okay i don't know what i'm doing <sighs> I <can't. laughs> i'm getting angry you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Get on! Birds on my pallets. How to use a router in a non-lethal manner. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do it. You may not have an AR-15, but anybody can buy a router. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh.